Okay, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a 20 kilowatt hour solar battery backup system. Today, the last piece of the puzzle came, Giarno. These two batteries are the most affordable ones that you could find on Amazon as of today, 2025. You could get two for 245 and they will fit perfectly into my solar system. I'm gonna show you the integration and I'm gonna run a couple of tests on them to see if they could perform with all the other brands that I have. So what's the huge attraction for these batteries? Lithium iron phosphate, very durable, this durable. So this cell is from a failed battery, not this brand, different brand, but look, the battery failed and it never caught on fire, never created any problems. It just swollen a little bit, popped the seal up here on top and, and that's it. No fires, I still have my house, nothing went wrong. Okay, so these are 4S, 4P. And even though clearly states in the manual that it should be 4S, 4P, I'm actually run them in 4S, 8P. And even though it's not on a manual, you can. And let me show you the specs real quick. This manual is as generic as it goes. It's in plain English, I really like that. Hooking up to an inverter, you wanna avoid sparks, small bulb, that's all you need. And here it is, we're pulling 1445 watts out of this inverter, out of this battery. So that's way over 100 amp, which is the maximum rated uh, continuous power. Which, and of course, we're gonna test it out to see if it can handle the 200 amps for a couple of seconds. And I think it will do it even longer because I've never been surprised how good these batteries are. So I'm gonna pull 2100, two kilowatts out of this thing, which is way over the uh, 200 amp hours for three seconds that these batteries are rated. And they're absolutely unbelievable. I'm actually over the rated power of this uh, inverter, 2000 watts, and I'm already pulling 2100 with this resistive load and the charging. Don't get fooled by the terminology of smart BMS. Uh, these BMSs in this GR Noe are smart. They can balance the cells, they could manage the charging, the discharging, everything that the battery needs. But it doesn't have a smart interface. It means it doesn't have an app. It doesn't make it dumb, it just makes it reliable. And here they are. Fully integrated. I'm gonna show you a quick rundown how the solar system works. So here are the GR Noe integrated into the solar systems. Got them all hooked up to these inverters. 650 watts each. This one produces 213 watts right now and this one is matching 213. These are Grita inverters. So what they do is they sync up to your power and they only produce power that is needed. I have extra cooling here on the top. This one pushes a little bit of air behind them. I left an inch. Uh, gap over here very safe system 24 volt you could touch any of these terminals without worrying about anything i'm running basically 800 amps over here you could touch these terminals because the voltage is what kills you these are controlling the dc voltage into the inverters these are charge controllers 100 amps each right now it's early in the morning so this one is doing 20 amps this one is doing 35 my house usage is 620 watts right now, so that's what my house uses. And this is a little balancer, so this tells me that right now I'm pushing power to the left side of the batteries because these batteries are 24 volt. It's a 12 volt and a 12 volt. That's how the GR Noe are hooked up exactly. So a left and a right. And this tells me that it's a little bit unbalanced right now, so it's pushing 0.1 amps that way. I'm running at uh, 25.8 volts and my total solar system is running at uh, 75 volts, 74 volts. So why is this important? Under 80 volts is considered still low voltage, so therefore you don't need arc protection and uh, all this other stuff that uh, a lot of the times you see a lot of the solar systems required. Because of that, I have to run a little bit more amps, so I have about 60 amps over here that is coming in here, but I'd rather more run more amps than uh, voltage because then I don't have to obey the high voltage rules. For the fire department, if something happens, you know, if they come over and they discover that you're running your system at 150 volts without authorization, it could be a problem, but under 80 volts, this is just fine. And usually at MPPT is around 60. Today is early in the morning, so I didn't have time to, to catch up with that. If you look at this one, I'm sure that this one is at lower because these solar panels are not as good in the backyard. 100 amp fuses on each uh, charge controller to push power into the batteries. But yeah, this system saves me about three, four, maybe $500 in summertime and then a little bit less in uh, spring and fall and then a lot in winter because I heat up my house with uh, uh, solar also. And then these are all the batteries that I have and those are the newest acquisition. Those are the last piece of the puzzle, the latest one that I waited to go on sale. Seems to be a really, really good battery. I'm gonna bring you a little bit of a later video with the GR Noe to see how they integrated with all my solar stuff over here. How do they handle stuff uh, in time? How do they get along with the other batteries? But 
I foresee zero problems because these things are quite amazing. <laughs>